Hey guys, good afternoon to all of you. Can you hear me? Anyone please confirm? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. We can Any hear you. Sir. We can hear you, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. We can hear uh, you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Uh, let's start this session. See guys, today I will tell you an important uh, interview question. So many times uh, this question will be asked by the interviewers uh, to the candidate. See, after the end of this uh, uh, interview question, then I will move to how to prepare uh, a resume. Okay, so you'll take a separate uh, class for resume session. And tomorrow I will tell you how to apply for jobs because so nowadays, uh, you know, shortlisting profile is uh, very difficult. Um, so we need to follow some strategies so for applying the resumes, etc. So I will tell you how to prepare a job uh, letter and how to apply to respect to recruiters uh, um, through LinkedIn and other portals also. So we will discuss uh, these topics tomorrow. And uh, the after tomorrow, I will tell you COPA and after that material ledger and some product costing, some important areas and in the and uh, uh, internal orders concept. OK, so then uh, we will uh, close this uh, workshop. And uh, if you are ready with your mock test, uh, so anytime uh, you can uh, uh, get in touch with me and even uh, if you are ready today, I will take mock test also. OK. So keep your uh, voice mute. See guys, the topic is, um, you know, BAPI is a very important. Uh, BAPI, BADI. Very important question in interview. OK. So how many people know about uh, BAPI and BADI? What is the difference between these two? Actually, these two are technical uh, terminologies. So ABAP people will know more about uh, these areas, but the uh, interview will try to ask you how much knowledge you have in ABAP side and uh, MM side. That's the reason. So if you are going for any interview, at least you should have some knowledge on other models also. That is very white. OK, so like, you know, at least you should have some SD model knowledge or MM knowledge or ABAP knowledge that should be added advantage. So now you tell me what is the difference between BAPI and BADI? If you have any idea on this, you can uh, just uh, share your thoughts. Any idea? Any idea? Say something, man. No, sir. Uh, we don't have any ideas. Last time we discussed BAPI. BAPI issues last time. OK. See, uh, these two are completely uh, technical uh, aspects in real time. So a BAPR will know about more on BAPI and BADI. OK, as a functional consultant, at least if you understand uh, the basic stuff, what exactly meant by BAPI and BADI and uh, how this uh, functionality helpful in real time. So then uh, it would be a, a additional benefit to you to get uh, knowledge on this area. So tomorrow if you go for uh, any interview, if you ask about what is BAPI or BADI or in real time, uh, so if you see BAPI issues, OK, so at least you should uh, uh, have some basic knowledge, right? See, generally BAPI stands for Business Application Programming Interface. OK, so BAPI stands for Business Application Programming Interface. BADI stands for Business Add-ins. OK, Business Add-in. So, you know, so why the BAPI is required? You know the interfaces, right? So you want to connect the interface to SAP. So uh, you want to connect SAP to interface. So then BAPI is the 
uh, BAPI is the one application programming. So this should be helpful uh, for connecting uh, to the interface to SAP. Nowadays, uh, we are using so many interfaces in real time. OK, so this is the one kind of connectivity uh, from the non-SAP to SAP. So generally, BAPI is the business application programming interface. It works as an interface to transfer data from SAP system to non-SAP system or between SAP system. So in other words, it's a connect custom code, customer code and third party applications with SAP products. BAPI confirms that all business logic validation authorization checks are executed correctly when accessing or modifying the business objects. So it performed this uh, task by wrapping BAPI with the internal layers of SAP business object. See, in order to connect SAP to non-SAP, okay, so we need BAPI. So our IDOX, right? So BAPI is just like a business application program. It is one kind of interface. Its act has an interface. So to transfer the data from SAP system to non-SAP systems. Okay, it's a connectivity. So like it's a, uh, it's a connectivity because it's a custom code has been designed. Customer code so has been designed and it is integrated with the third party applications. So you know the interface, right? We have different kind of interfaces, Cadency, Ariba, Salesforce. Okay, and so many interfaces are there, black line, so many interfaces are there in real time. So um, the, some of the interfaces are connected through BAPI uh, to SAP. So the, because uh, it is the connector between the SAP to non-SAP to transfer the data, okay. So BADI means business add-ins. If you are doing any enhancements, sir, the enhancement for enhancing, uh, enhancement means we need to create any custom code, we need to develop program, okay. In real time, so custom code and program will be uh, customized program, customized uh, code will be developed by Abapron, right. So this baddie is just like a business add-in, add-in. So the difference between BAPI and BADI is that BAPI allows connecting SAP system with SAP or non-SAP system with the, or non-SAP systems. Uh, like while BADI allows adding the enhancements to the improve the functionalities of, without affecting the initial source codes. See, uh, already this functionality will be there in the system. Okay, but you want to enhance that functional functionality without disturbing the existing uh, source codes. Sir. So that is called as a bad in. That's the reason it's called a business add-ins. Business add-ins. Okay. So again, I'm repeating this word because uh, uh, simply it's uh, look like similar, but uh, the functionality is different. So difference between BAPI and BADI is that BAPI allows connecting SAP system with SAP or non-SAP system. Okay, so it is uh, integrated with the interfaces. So SAP is integrated with the, so many interfaces in real time. Okay, so many errors will come uh, at the time of transferring the data from SA, non-SAP to SAP. Some errors uh, relevant to BAPI errors also. It's a connector. Okay, so so if any BAPI error will come, then we need to connect our ABAPR. So we don't have any uh, access to check the BAPI in real time. Okay, anyhow. So as a functional guy, we need to check whether data is transferring from uh, one system to another system that we can look out. But we don't have any authorization to check in the program level. We don't have any authorization to create any custom code in real time. OK, so but uh, here the difference you can easily understand. So BADI is for enhancements. For enhancement point of view, BADI should be used. So it is uh, improving the functionality So in real time. So you know, so many uh, enhancements that we need to be uh, develop. Okay, so that uh, things we need to connect for ABAPR. Okay, so for a functional point of view, so we have knowledge. We know how to create CR process, and uh, so and what is the key codes tables required for creation of any reports, any enhancements point of view. What we need, what is the our activity? What the, what are functional consultants? How we can perform the testing and all. So those things we should have, but. Uh, so, but uh, for creation of the custom code and the program development, so these are all things needed by uh, ABAPR. Okay, so for ABAPR, while uh, doing these any enhancements, ABAPR requirement is there. So ABAPR only have an access and we can create a new requirement. But uh, if you are a technical uh, function consultant, uh, then there may be chances. 
you are technical consultant, techno functional consultant, then uh, you can have all uh, all these access. So you should have a uh, knowledge, have knowledge, and uh, so functional consultant knowledge also. Then uh, you can participate to both activities. So uh, in other case, uh, you don't have any authorization to do this uh, uh, activities, right? So BADI means uh, adding enhancements. Okay. So you want to add any enhancement uh, to improve any functionality of uh, SAP. So without disturbing the initial source codes. So what is uh, there in the system? So then uh, the uh, then we can use BADI also. Okay. So BADI generally used for enhancements. Okay. See here, BADI is the stand for business add-in. It's a source code plug of SAP. Okay. It helps to improve the existing advanced business application program. Okay. So and uh, so advanced business program application. See here, they clearly mentioned that it helps. To improve, to improve the existing. So, so already existing functionality is there. You want to enhance that existing functionality by using this body as we can do it. So, uh, functional web language for SAP application. This improvement support business process. This can be no standard code that uh, tiles with customer requirement. However, in body is possible to develop solutions according to the requirement without affecting the initial source code of the object. Okay, this is the purpose of the battery. Okay, so I'm just sharing this uh, uh, paragraph to you in the chat box. You can save anywhere. So a very important question. So interview will uh, test you so how much knowledge you have in the uh, uh, in this app site. So they will ask you this kind of questions. Okay.